in the last video i had discussed about center of buoyancy and this center of buoyancy is the geometric center of water displaced let me write here it is the geometric center of water displaced actually this is the point where force of buoyancy acts vertically upward and this is this force of buoyancy is equal to the weight of water displays so the geometric center of underwater volume it is also the geometric center of underwater volume and hence we can say that this is also the geometric center of water displays because this underwater volume and the water displays is the same thing now let me talk about the position position of cob well it can be indicated in earthward shift direction that is kb and in longitudinal direction that is lcb well how to understand this suppose this is a vessel and uh, let me just draw it in, in three dimensional way suppose this is the point v here and in longitudinal direction if we measure from aft perpendicular it is lcb so this distance is uh, lcb this distance is KB so I'm going to discuss about uh, position indication and how to obtain this KB and LCB by simple examples here and let's consider about box shaped vessel box shaped vessel well it's pretty uh, easy to understand and suppose this vessel is like this length breadth so length is 50 meter this way and this one is 10 meter i'm using these simple numbers so that it becomes very easy and height is 8 meter suppose this is a box shape vessel that is sort of rectangular shape which is having which is floating here it with some draft this is water line let me just represent here this is water line okay now what we have to do we need to find suppose this draft is D here let me represent this draft as a D so underwater volume is 50 into 10 into D that is the underwater volume and this underwater volume will be displaced so if it is floating in salt water here then this is the volume multiplied by relative density which is 1.025 will be equal to the displacement or weight of box now suppose this weight of box is given and uh, let's use this number this is given which is uh, 20500 ton so all we have to do let's solve so all we have to do just simply solve this equation for d well the value of d will be 20500 ton divided by 50 into 10 into 1.025 well this will give me let's say 4 meter yeah the answer is 4 meter so if this is 4 meter very easy for, for me now it's very easy that kb is going to be 2 meter 
well this is 4 meter so the KB is 2 meter now let's talk about LCB here in the shape suppose this is the forward part which is not shown here and this is aft part so the total length is 50 meter here like this so from aft perpendicular so this is aft part then LCB will be LCB will be 50 divided by 2 that is 25 meter now if if it is in the same question okay I think let me just uh, draw this 10 meter 8 meter and 50 meter in this question uh, the displacement is given which is uh, displacement salt water is 2050 ton now suppose this is floating in RD relative density as 1.005 then what will be KB and LCB well it's very uh, easy to solve this problem that displacement in this water RD 1.005 will also be the displacement in salt water the density of salt water is 1.025 we know it very well that RD of salt water is 1.025 now let's work out suppose the draft is here draft is this one and this is X so let's find out 50 into 10 into X that is underwater volume and into 1.005 so this is this displacement is equal to now this is salt water and in this question it was given with 2050 ton so all we have to do just simply equate for a solve solve it for X and the value of X will be 2050 divided by 50 into 10 into 1.005 so after solving I get this value x is equal to 4.0796 meter well just let me go up a little bit we can round off and we can write it as 4.08 meter so now KB is going to be 2.04 meter half of this all you have to do just divide by 2 so we get KB now the value of LCB again is 50 divided by 2 that is 25 meter it should also be noted that in these cases whether this example or this other example the vessel is upright let me just write here vessel is upright that means she is not listed or inclined and vessel is on even keel on even even keel that means there is no trim even keel means zero trim zero term so this problem can be solved only when we are having these two consideration and of course the vessel is floating in still water